Hi, this is Mandeep Singh, I'm founder of Mandeeps.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create new themes for our Live Tabs module using the jQuery UI theme ruler. So, let's get started. We can head over to jQueryUI.com slash theme ruler, and uh, that's uh, that's this site right here, which allows you to create uh, new themes using uh, a nice editor here. So just to keep this short and simple, I'm just going to just change uh, very few options. I'll go ahead and uh, change the header here, make those uh, a different design uh, right here. I'm also going to go ahead and change the color on it. Now you're welcome to go ahead and make uh, all kinds of designs and uh, make a complete unique theme here. So when you're done configuring the theme and you're, you're happy with the way it looks, you can go ahead and click on download theme. Now it's important here that we uh, toggle this so we we uncheck everything and then only check the tabs here. This only gives us the uh, CSS that we need to keep the file size down. Uh, and here's the most important part. Here is what we going to name our theme. So for the purpose of this demo I'm going to say my theme. And this is uh, the second most important uh, aspect of creating your themes on theme roller. Uh, the scope is always going to begin with dot and it's going to be live tabs on lowercase and then the name of your theme so it's going to be my theme so that's again dot live tabs my theme that's all really you have to do to create new themes uh, you can click download at this point and uh, go ahead and open this up So now that we have downloaded it, uh, I can go ahead and open this um, and bring it into view. It's right here. Uh, this is a zip file that I opened up and I'm going to go into it, into the CSS folder and I'm going to see that my theme folder that I just created. Um, what we need to do is move this theme folder into our live tabs folder on our .NET new installation. So let me bring uh, that folder into view as well. Here I have the .NET Nuke site. What we're going to do is browse to desktop modules and then to live tabs and then to the themes folder. Now, most likely you're going to have to use a FTP client to FTP to your server to move these files over. But uh, since I have my installation on local machine, I'm just going to show you a uh, really good how to do that. All you really have to do is just then take this My Theme folder and drop it into the live tabs themes folder. Once you have that folder in there, there's one last change we need to do. That is, we can get rid of the CSS since we're only interested in the minified or you can keep it for debugging purposes later. I'm just gonna go ahead and delete it. And then what we have to do here is rename this file to the name of our theme. So in that case would be my theme. And that's it, we're done. We've uh, created a new theme and added it to live tabs. Uh, and now it's just a matter of choosing it and, and using it. So let me switch over to our site here and here's our uh, live type module using the default thing. I'm going to go to the options here and in our themes right here I'm going to choose my theme which should automatically appear now because it was dropped into the folder and I'm going to go ahead and hit update there it is. That's our new custom theme that we just created and uh, uh, deployed to our document installation in less than four minutes. That's all for this short video. If you have any questions or need help, uh, we'll be happy to assist you. Just open a support ticket and thank you very much for watching the video.